What's up everyone? It is New Year's Eve and I'm here with a quick review that I originally was very excited to do and that I must confess I am far less excited to do now. It is the Palace CP Company collab shell goggle jacket in purple. And the reason I am less excited about it is because I was in Los Angeles for the holiday and I actually saw this jacket in store and I was not as impressed as I was hoping to be. Before I open this box, I wanna say I have a special place in my heart for Palace. They haven't been knocking it out the park recently the way that, in my opinion, they have in past years. I have a couple of bangers from them. This Trekno Inter Greens fleece. I absolutely love. The colorway is amazing. The fleece itself, fantastic. I've got a Palace Gore-Tex Vortex jacket that I absolutely love. Very weatherproof, beautiful design. I just wish I had this colorway in the zebra pattern, but it's been a couple years since I've seen something from Palace that I really love. And this was supposed to be it. The CP Company collab. I love Stone Island. CP Company is a very close sister to Stone Island. Similar origins. I don't actually have anything from CP Company directly, but I had high hopes for this collaboration. And let's just get this open and see if it fits what I remember from the store, or if there's something that I can find that's redeeming about this. First off, it started on the wrong foot with me with the price point because in London, in the UK, this was a jacket listed at 668 pounds, which at the current conversion rate of 121, US dollars per pound should have made this a 800-ish dollar price point jacket. It ended up being 990, which is a almost 1.5 dollar per pound conversion ratio. But the price doesn't really affect my overall opinion. Seeing this in hand, Let's get it out of the plastic. It's nice that it comes in a plastic sleeve that actually is marked CP Company. Let's have a look. The color, the color is not what I was expecting. I was expecting a little bit more muted. This very much pops, but I think the color and the material, the fabric, go hand in hand. And this fabric is not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting something a little bit more Stoned Island-esque. I mean, I know Stone Island has their own unique materials, but this is almost like a crinkled satin to me. It's very hard to describe the texture without actually touching it. I thought it was gonna be something else entirely and it ended up being this and I'm just not a fan of this. I mean, if I could have gotten hands on on this before I ordered it, I would have just passed. And that's a personal preference as much as anything else but it just, it wasn't what I was expecting at all. Let's have a look at the details, the jacket. We got a CP Company tag, a Certi logo, eyes on the city, outerwear medium jacket, Ecro Chrome R special dyed, Two buttons at the collar, CP Company Palace zipper pull. A 
couple drawstrings that actually come into these holders. That's kind of a unique touch. How it comes from the hole into the holder here and out. It's both buttoned and zippered. And then inside, this is actually, I think, one of the coolest touches. We have a super enlarged CP Company logo. And it says Palace as well, CP Palace. And the guy is wearing a Palace hat. That's pretty cool. We also have CP Company Palace on the upper tag. And then the goggles, this to me was the coolest touch. They're actually buttoned at the moment, so let's unbutton them. The goggles are like an iridium gold. It's hard to get it right there. Kind of that reflection. Which I don't think is standard CP Company. I think standard CP Company is more just black. I could be wrong about that because I don't have CP Company products, but the gold really stood out to me. I like that it says Palace on one lens and CP Company on the other. And then we should have the lens on the sleeve. It is oversized, I believe, for what is typical for CP Company. And it says CP Company Palace and it is gold as well. We've got an inside pocket. Wow, there's a lot of branding all over this. Another CP Company tag and right there, what's it say? La Mille jacket. And on the other side, we have a very familiar looking Stone Island-ish type tag that says Palace CP Company. It's very difficult to read the small text, I was trying to figure out if this has a liner. Yes, it does. So it's got an outer shell and an inner liner. The inner liner feels like cotton. It says it's 100% polyamide or nylon and then 100% cotton. I'm guessing that's talking about the outer is a nylon shell and the inner is 100% cotton. The inner is very nice, it's very soft, it's very comfortable. I actually do like that a lot about this jacket. And then, interesting, I've never seen this before. It also, at the back, has a button holder. At the back of the neck area to hold the hood and the lenses in place so that they sit like that when it's on you. So let's try this on and leave that before I open it up. I ordered a medium because it said it was palace sizing and everything I have in palace is a medium. If I were ordering Stone Island or CP Company normally, I would probably be getting a large. We have a couple of pockets on the side. They're pretty sizable, and I think there's two. There are. The ones along the side to the back are not quite so usable. It's a very awkward point of access. I feel like it's just an aesthetic, a look. The front ones definitely are usable. They ride or sit a little bit high. Overall, the fit is good. Sleeve length, sleeve length is good. Overall length is good. Color looks pretty nice. I am more impressed with this jacket wearing it than I was just looking at it.
It has some adjustment for the sleeve to bring it in just a little, not a lot, but I would probably wear it pinched. It's still a little bit oversized. The lens is pretty cool. Let me try out the hood. So to do that, I have to unsecure it. Let's give it a shot. Well, I probably shouldn't be wearing this with glasses. I don't think I would ever personally use the lenses down, but that is what they are known for. And I guess that's it. I honestly think of all of the jackets I have, and everything that I like. I'm at the point where I basically only keep what I deem to be personal true grails. And this one just misses the mark for me on a couple of different levels. I think the color, I love color. Maybe it's just the way that it's dyed, the kind of half weathered tie dye look. It's it just feels off to me. I can't describe why I'm not a big fan of it, but it's kind of like two in between. It's very, very strong, but then it's got little accents of kind of tie-dye, and I just don't like the overall aesthetic of it. The material itself is not what I was expecting. It's a little too soft, a little too satin. I just think for a nylon jacket, I was expecting something a little bit more substantial, a little bit more durable feeling. I really don't know. I think it, it is personal preference, but again, this is a jacket where you really have to see it in hand and touch it and feel it to know if you're going to like it. And I think I'm just going to have to send this one back. Again, personal preference didn't work out for me. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. And I will see you at the next one soon.